Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the next round of FVD Elements. So today we're doing another special request. This time, K.A. asked for the uh, fun little swoop that Nitro and Raging Bull do after they leave the station and before they engage the lift. And a quick confession is that uh, normally I make my BNM hypers go straight to the lift from the station because, or specifically because, I thought that little element was too difficult to do when I first tried it a few years ago. So it was time to give it another go. Uh, K.A. and I talked briefly about doing it with four sections versus geometric sections, and we both agreed that geometric was the way to go. Uh, but first, first, I had to try it with four sections because you know how I do. i got to be stubborn. So here's the result of the four section. You can see it looks okay, uh, and it rides okay, but I thought I could probably do better with geometric sections, so I tried one more time, and here's the result. So you can see that uh, came out definitely better than the four section did. Now granted, I did uh, only do the four section once. I didn't fool around with it too much. And I did the geometric section a few times and played with it a lot more. I, I definitely could have done better with the four section. But I think the geometric section was better and that's uh, pretty much the way to go with that element. So geometric sections are something new that we have not played with uh, on my channel or in any of the FED element series. And they are quite different from using force sections. Uh, rather than controlling the forces that the rider is going to experience, you're just controlling the geometry of the track. So for those of you who really are interested in designing by, say, specifying a level of banking or something like that, or a, a specific slope, you would do that with geometric sections. Theoretically, you could build a ride completely with geometric sections. It would be a total pain in the butt, though, and I would not recommend it. I, FED is just not made for that. It's made for force. It's force vector design, so uh, it, it just really is not worth the trouble. But uh, in certain cases, they come in handy. Uh, if you're really trying to do something where you want a specific shape and you're having a lot of trouble doing it with uh, four sections, give geometric sections a try. I can guarantee you that you will go right back to four sections, especially if you're trying to do a, a really complicated element. But for something like this, it worked pretty well. Uh, so you can see that the difference between geometric sections and four sections is uh, the graphs that we have over here. We still have roll speed, which is red, and that just controls the, the roll of the track. We then have pitch, which is obviously the slope up and down. And then we have yaw, which is the direction it rotates around a vertical axis. So controlling those three, uh, it definitely takes some practice. Just like FED, it definitely takes some practice. So you can see the basic graph here is I, the yaw goes around the entire turn. And then I just sort of changed the roll so that we rolled into a sort of banking here and rolled out of it as we came up here back to zero. And then, of course, pitch is just kind of down. Uh, start to come up a little bit and then down again to flatten out. So it looks fairly simple here. It took a little a little bit of playing around, but it, it really wasn't that difficult. Uh, one other thing to consider, though, is when you are using geometric sections, you really have no control over the forces that the rider is experiencing. So if we keep an eye, let's say, that's one of the good things about FED is uh, if we're looking at the X acceleration over here, we can always, or even the vertical for that matter, you can always see what level of uh, Gs the rider's experiencing. So obviously they're experiencing one G here, normal force, uh, uh, vertical force, and they're experiencing no lats whatsoever. You'll see when we go into this section, and I just kind of eyeballed it, but if you keep your eyes right here, you'll see what the lats are as we go through this. And it's nothing major. Uh, not bad at all. I just kind of eyeballed this. I mean, if you've been staring at coasters for a long time, uh, all your life like I have, you kind of have an idea of what looks right and what doesn't. Uh, but unfortunately, if you're doing this, uh, if you're making, say, a huge element or something, you just have no control over what sort of uh, forces the rider is experiencing. And once you get used to designing by forces, I think you'll find that the, the geometric section, like I said, is really only good in certain situations. But it worked well here. I'm pleased with the result of this and I'm actually going to use this on a coaster that I'm planning on building at some point in the future. So that's going to be about it for this video. Coming up we've got uh, FVD basics. I just want to run through the basics of FVD for people who are just starting to use it. 
Uh, as always, though, if you want to see an element, let me know. I'm loving suggestions. It's always a challenge to build something that y'all ask for. And keep leaving your comments down below. Engaging with everyone is really fun. Uh, the link for this file will be in the video description as always. But otherwise, that's going to be it for now. Take care and enjoy the ride.